The notion of chance is everywhere in real life. We all address ideas of chance every day when we are evaluating the likelihood it will rain, the chance of winning the lottery, or how likely a receiver is to catch the ball. Addressing these questions involves a method for establishing likelihood. We use probability to do so. An outcome is the result of a single trial from a probability experiment. The collection of all outcomes of an experiment is a set called the sample set. For example, if you roll an eight-sided die, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and record the number of faces on which it comes to rest, the outcomes of the experiment are simply the labels on the faces. An event is the subset of the example space and is described by one or more conditions. For instance, the event that the die lands on an odd number would give you a subset of 1, 3, 5, 7. The probability of an event is a number between 0 and 1 that measures the percent chance that an event would occur. How is the number computed? For most experiments, each outcome in the sample space is equally likely. If a sample space contains n outcomes, the probability of any one of them occurring is 1 over n. We can also say the probability of a specific event occurring is calculated by the number of desirable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Let's look at the diet example again. Say four recipes contain quinoa. If there are 15 total recipes, the probability that the one selected contains quinoa would be 4 out of 15. Sometimes people will want to know the odds of an event happening. When you calculate odds, you are actually calculating the probability that an event will occur to the probability that an event will not occur. Sometimes the data is provided as a frequency. For instance, if you ask 400 random people a question, and each question has a choice of four answers, you can use the results of your survey to use frequencies to predict how many people are likely to provide one answer. You can also calculate relative frequencies or relate each of the results to each other to analyze the data.